Ms. Craig, you yes. say that today is your last hope in discovering your true identity. Now you state that one question continually haunts you. Is the man you've been calling dad for most of your life really your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Janelle Craig, you are Ms. Craig's mother. You admit to sleeping with more than one man at the time your daughter was conceived, yet you argue you don't understand why she's still looking for answers. Right. Correct. Now, Mr. Thompson, you say you always assumed you were Ms. Craig's father. Yes, Your Honor. But then you claim a startling revelation caused you to question paternity. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Craig, why is today your last hope? Because I struggle with my identity, um, first and foremost. I've been going through too much, in and out of foster homes, back and forth. When I was about five, um, there was a man in my life, and he was said to be my father. I can remember calling him daddy, daddy, and my auntie, like, don't call him daddy anymore, because that's not your dad. And one day, your aunt just told you out the blue, Yep. Don't call him daddy, because that's not your father. And I couldn't understand why. Like, as a child, I couldn't understand why. And so, that wasn't Mr. Thompson? No. When did he come into your life? I was about 10. And then what happened? How did you meet him? I was getting out the foster home with my sister. We went to go stay with my mom and my aunt at the time. My dad came around. I was like, okay, where's the other man at? And they was like, well, this is your dad right here. Miss Craig, who's this man she thought was her father? That was the current boyfriend, and he knew he wasn't the father. So you didn't tell her, no. this is your father. No. Because in your mind, Mr. Thompson was her biological father. Yes. Okay, so go ahead. Um, when she was, I think, 10, I saw him and his wife in a tavern. And I walked up to him and said, hey, baby daddy, we have a child together. And they're looking at me With like him, I'm crazy. He, <laughs> him and his wife were just yes, at a tavern? Yes. And I walked up and said, hey, baby daddy. He's like, no, I don't have any kids. So I'm like, yeah, we have a 10-year-old child together. Um, yada, yada, yada. I gave him, you know, I told him about her. He came to see her. And... Now, Miss Craig, why would you do that like that? What do you mean? <laughs> but you say he really didn't know. He didn't. No. So, yes, I walked up to him and let him know that we had a child together. I mean, I didn't come out right and say, hey, baby daddy. Oh, but that's what you I said. Mean, so, yeah. I thought that's what you walked I mean, up there I mean, and just said. just to paraphrase it, but, yeah, I did come out and say, look, we have a 10-year-old kid together. Okay, so you remember this day? No. <laughs> no, I do not. So, how did you find out that I remember, Chanel... I remember seeing Chanel when Chanel was a baby. She was a small little baby. She was one, but uh -huh. I came out of prison. She was a little baby. And I came by her grandmama's house. Her mother wasn't there. Oh, well. And I seen Chanel. When you looked at her, did you believe this is my child? No. Oh. I didn't. That's why I told her mother. And You're so... lying. You never told me that. And I don't even believe you went to my mama's house. Oh. Where was she living at at the time? On 24th. Liar. Liar. So wait, Miss Craig, you're saying your mom didn't even live on the street, he no, said? No, she did not. So you don't believe he ever came by no, to see her? No, I do not. I think the first time he seen her, she was 10 years old. No. How did you get back into her Chanel, life? Chanel, Chanel auntie had gave me a call and told me that Chanel needed me and told me that her mother was gone away and she needed me badly. And she told, asked me if I can come back and get into her life. Okay. And that's what I did. And so, even though you had doubts when you saw her when she was a child, when you got this call from her aunt that she needed you, you came back again. Correct. Because I felt that she really... She, it's a possible chance that she was. So, okay, so you came back, and so you started a relationship with her? Yes. She wouldn't come with me alone. I just felt like that. I but wanted to I spend took time with her. People with she didn't me. want to spend time with me. She wanted to bring other people, and I couldn't but deal you, with that. But you, she you can't you. understand. Yeah. That's, that's normal. As a child, I didn't trust him to be with him, so every time I left with him, I would bring a cousin or my sister with me. And I felt like it was my fault when he left. It was her what? fault. So you just felt like there were so many people, it became overwhelming for right. you, and then you started coming around less and less. Correct. But, so Chanel, you claim from the time you were 10 to the time you were 16, you believe Mr. Thompson was your father. Yes. You but did. he wasn't around that long. He came back when I was about to turn 17, two months before my birthday. Mm -hmm. 
things wasn't going too well with her and the relationship they was having, because Janelle That's was... That's mother and daughter, but how do you come in from being gone seven years and say, oh, you can come live in my house? Again, she don't know you. Uh, Dude, but you gotta look at, I took care of her when you wasn't. You were not around. You weren't you either. Was around with these I, all I day. played both parts. What are you talking about? The hard part over with. And this is what I go her. through. Girl, please. This is what I, I go through with them. They raise don't know. I was in jail for seven it, years. Okay, Why the hell you raised so her? So what? Seven years from 10 to and 23. And I did eight. So what's the it's difference? It's been mama. No mama and daddy. It's been mama playing mama and daddy role. So now all of a sudden, I don't see you no mama. I see, I see her auntie been taking care of her for her whole life. Who's whole life? That's all I see. Chanel's. Yeah, right. We're, okay, what fantasy world are you living in? Because I don't see that. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Okay, so you came out of the foster care system and you were living with your aunt and your mother. Yes. And all this time, you think Mr. Thompson is your father. Yes, but when I got back in touch with him, his girlfriend and her kids was telling me that he was saying that he didn't think I was his. Because somebody else's name was on a birth certificate. That's why I didn't believe it. I told you that when I first met Chanel you back told, up again. Chanel told me that you when she turned 16. I said she that showed me her birth certificate because she had she needed an ID, a state ID. It doesn't and she showed matter. Me this birth I still certificate. told you he told put his nothing. name on the birth certificate. He told me nothing. Let me get this straight. Chanel, what happened when you turned 16? The first man, him and my mom was talking at the time. Now this is the guy that was around when you were five. Yes, ma'am. He came back. He played the father role for a couple months. Everybody's like, is you sure that's not your daddy? Cause I could see some features in there, but the test was already done. So, I was... so, okay, so you had a DNA test done and you knew that this was not your biological father. Yes. Okay, this is confusing for me right now. So I can only imagine how it felt for you. So at this time, you're just confused. <laughs> you don't know? Are you asking your mother? Are you upset with your mother? I'm mad at both of them because they should have got it done when I was born. And if they didn't get it done, they should have got it done when he came back into my life when I was 10. Well, that's hard to do when you only got one person that's willing to do that. You can't make somebody else do something. Who was willing to do it, Janelle? And it was me. I've been asked. So, I mean, what do you want you me to do? You ain't never asked me for no blood test. You, you ain't never asked even me there. for nothing. I was a virgin when we met. He know this. And, and you even feel certain feel... that he is her biological well, I mean, father? It, it's a possibility that he can't be because, yeah, I was a little promiscuous at 16 years old. But at the same time, I still though. did. When you're a virgin? Hello. When you're I a virgin, still though. raised my child mm. and I did it by myself. Take, take me back. In this relationship, you said she was a virgin. Correct. So... Why is it you have doubt if you're Chanel's father if you thought she was a virgin when how, you were... Look how it come to me. It came to me as in, like, this is your baby. I ain't never seen her pregnant. I've been gone. You're but stupid. When you, you said that when you... You sound stupid. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Miss Craig. You said when you got home, you immediately went over there to see this little baby. Yes. And you didn't think she was yours, so you thought it was plausible then. Correct. And then somebody but else on our birth certificate, so I'm like, well, that's because if this he dude, stepped up. If, if this was my baby, uh, okay. but you gonna put okay, somebody so else's no, name no, on no, our birth no, certificate. No, 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 I'm understanding that so point. So it's making me think so, that. So, Ms. Craig, if you did know it was him, why put another man's first name off, on I'm instead of just... I'm 16 years old, mm -hmm. scared, first child, and this man said, I'll step in and do what needs to be done for this child. Did you on tell that man he was the biological No, I did not. He just he stepped up it. and volunteered. Yes, right, see, okay. I've, been, I've been through this before. I, I had another little daughter, and come to find out she's not mine. And I've been taking care of her since she was, what, 17, 18 years now. Look, I appreciate the fact that you've been through this before, and that can scar someone. But let's be honest. Are you doubtful that Chanel is your biological daughter because someone else lied to you? Or are you doubtful mm -hmm. just based upon the circumstances? Based upon her mama, how she deal with things and how she do things. This is the first time I'm hearing what, him say What's that, the first time? That he doubted. He was just telling me that he knew for a fact I was his child. I, he don't I do knew for a fact lie. because she was supposed to be a virgin. I feel hurt by the whole situation. I feel like I got to suffer for their mistakes. Right. Yeah. 
I can see, um, Chanel, that this really yeah, is it, breaking you down. It hurt, and they don't even understand, like, how bad it feel to me, Dad. Well, tell them. I gotta go through this. Y'all hurt my feelings, for real, Mom. Well, I apologize, because that was never my intentions to hurt you. Now, life, it, it comes with up and downs, and it comes with hurts. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I am Mama and Daddy. I think I've done a great job or a good job as best as I could well, to I my ability. I understand, Mom, but when you say you gotta play the Mama and Daddy role, and that's sometimes exactly that just what don't I've work. Done now. You're right, it don't work. It don't work, but I cannot make the other parent step up and Chanel, be a parent. Chanel knows, All I can Chanel do is knows, do my I job love her, and try to make love sure and that you don't first, miss out first on other stuff. Okay, the, the, let, me, let me say this. Instead of talking over her, listen to her. <laughs> She's trying to explain how she feels. It's important to just hear her out. What, what do you feel? I feel hurt. Like, I just want to cover this whole floor in tears because this has been going on for too long. I'm 23 years old now. It shouldn't have been taking that long. I, I came to him quite a few times. The first time I was 17, he said, well, wait till you turn 18. <laughs> 18, you ain't got That's to pay really no more really child support. It didn't really matter to me. It wasn't that important to me. I, only so, thing I hold knew, on. I, was, I wanted to take care of her. Mr. Thompson, I want to ask you, why were you reluctant to take a DNA test privately? We never had time. You so had time, so you just didn't want to step up and be a man and take care of responsibility. I've been taking care of her, dude. Where you For been real? at? That's where, you where been that's at. at. Hold on, hold on. About. So, Chanel, what has this meant in your life to have this <sighs> confusion, this ball of confusion over your head? I mean, I just want to say, first off, I got a baby now. And I was diagnosed with postpartum depression, and it come from, from, from my lifestyle, from this. Like, I done been through too much. And I don't, I shouldn't feel like I had to go through that. Should no child had to go through that. It hurt. And it ain't like I, I'm just been going through it for a little while. No, I've been going through this for my whole entire life and I really ain't had no type of support behind me. And what kind of support did you need? A father for one. And I, I don't blame my mama for what she did, but I just wish she could have been there a little more. And so right now, you really want to break this cycle for your baby. I feel like I shouldn't have to go through that with his dad. So we got the paternity test off top. His name is on the birth certificate. He know that's his child. And when my baby grow up, he not going to have to go through what I went through. But I can't even get these two in the same room together and get along for five seconds. And when they go through their situations, then I'm having to choose between them. And I don't want to choose nobody over my mama. And I don't, if this is my father, I don't want to choose nobody over him either. I just want everybody to get along. And thank you for just hearing her out. Because sometimes I know as a parent and as a potential parent, I see you have love for her, whether or not she is your no. biological child. You want to fix it so bad. You just want to talk over it and fix it and say, I'll do whatever. Part of getting to that next step of healing is allowing her a chance to just speak about what this has meant to me. And so at this point, I think it's, it's time to alleviate that doubt and that confusion and just have the results. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Craig V. Craig Thompson, as it pertains to Ms. Chanel Craig, Ms. Craig, Mr. Thompson, do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Craig V. Craig Thompson, as it pertains to Ms. Chanel Craig, Ms. Craig, Mr. Thompson. 
is not your father. Oh. Sorry, Neil. Can you give me a hug? I'm your mom and dad. No matter. I'm still your daddy. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. So I can tell you wanted to just hear that he was your father to have that closure. Yeah, because he the only man that's in my baby life right now. Miss Craig, do you know who her biological father is? I have an idea, yes. Do you mm. know how you could find the gentleman? Yeah, yeah. And maybe ask if he would submit to a test? Yes. A... She yeah. just needs to know the truth. Right. You know, Mr. Thompson, I'm sorry. I could see that really hurt you. I just, I thought all this time, <laughs> crazy. I can see you love her. And the fact that you both showed up here today proves that you do support her in her efforts. And all I suggest is that you continue to do so. I will. And please help her find her father. Ms. Grimes, you claim that you have always believed your ex-boyfriend is the biological father of your 10-month-old son, James. He has loved your son and taken care of him, but now he is denying paternity. You are hoping today's results prove your case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Davis, you say the plaintiff's lies not only ended your relationship, but also led you to doubt paternity. You claim that two other men could be the father of her child. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Grimes, what was the nature of your relationship with the defendant? I was in a relationship with him when I found out I was pregnant. Um, How long had you been together? Me and Anthony had been together for... About three months. And about three months into that, you realize... I was pregnant. All right. So take me to the day when you found out you were pregnant. Um, the day I found out I was pregnant, I went to the store, bought a pregnancy test, because I kept throwing up at the same time every day. And, um, came home, and it was positive. I came in there and showed him. He was happy. He was like, I'm ready to take on the baby. So you took the pregnancy test? And you went right to Mr. Davis and said, look, I'm pregnant. Yeah. And he was happy about it. Yeah. Mr. Davis, do you remember being happy about it? Yeah, I was happy at first. I ain't have a doubt, you know what I mean? I thought that possibly it would, would be it my was baby. It was yours. So take me to the day she told you, and in your own words, tell me what happened. When she told me she was pregnant, I really, at first, I didn't know what to think. But, you know what I'm saying, thinking that I might possibly have a baby, you know, it, it kind of made me happy, you know, that I was gonna have another baby. But then, that's when I started finding stuff out, you know. What did you find? Well, I found out first off that she is a real good liar. She lied all the good time. Lying. <laughs> she lied all the time about everything. Specifically, what did you find? I found her telling another man that it, was my, it might have been his baby. Wait, you you found what? I found some text messages. Oh, on her you phone. did? Yeah. Well, I started noticing she was a liar. Kind of made me suspicious. So I started. What going did you notice? Her phone. I, well, she lied about little stuff, you know. You, you, little white lies, little little lies. Exactly, and do but do it like it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? So that kind of made me suspicious. I don't be doing that. Did that cause you to then she look did. in her phone? You looked in her phone. I looked in her phone. And when you, you looked in her that. phone, you found a message. I okay, found but you two too. messages from two different people. Oh, two messages. But yeah. he was cheating too, so we was even. Miss Grimes, I want to understand what you're saying. You said you admit you were cheating because he was cheating too. Yeah, I admit I was cheating. I cheated one time because he was cheating. Yeah, to get back at him. So when you saw these messages, Mr. Davis, what was your reaction? Uh, I, I got mad at first, you know. Uh, I wanted to confront her, confront her about it. And she basically just told me she was lying to them, you know. But she lied to me all the time. I couldn't really believe it. Oh, she told you, don't worry about these messages. I'm lying to these guys. Exactly. But why would we even text <laughs> messages where you were lying to guys? Exactly. Because I didn't... Me and Anthony was finna break up, and I didn't want to be alone. I wanted... I wasn't trying to be alone. I was trying to 
Get Jelani back. I, we already got a kid together, so it made it easier. It was some text messages from two different men. Two of them. So that she texted two they, different men, not just one. She was telling one that it was his baby and telling the other one she didn't know who baby it was. So I assume it could have been his too. Miss Grimes. Yes. What were you <laughs> running around here doing? I was just, I just, my ex, he wasn't, he he was nobody. I didn't mess with him or nothing. I just didn't want to be alone. I was just trying to get. But wait a minute. You were not going to tell a man you hadn't slept with that I didn't tell the... him he was the father. Who? The one that I hadn't slept with. I just told him I didn't know who was the father. Okay, so you told the one, you don't know who the father is. You told the other one, your he ex, may be the that father. he may be the father. Yeah, but I know he's not the father. I know Anthony's the father. So take me to the day you give birth. I mean, after all of this, do you, do you have support through the pregnancy? Is Mr. Davis there? Yeah, he was there. He went to doctor's appointments? Yeah, he went to a couple. And then on the day you give birth, what happens? Um, he's at the hospital. He stayed the whole time I was in the hospital. He was with me. Um, he was like, I can tell he's mine. He looked just like me and my family. So you said that, Mr. Davis? No. I didn't say that. <laughs> I told her that he didn't look like none of my kids. You know what I'm saying? My kids no, he didn't. Come and look he like, did not say that, and he like looked me. like his kids. So the baby comes. You look at the baby and you say, he doesn't look like any of my kids. He looked just like him. Y'all don't see the resemblance? He don't look like me. He got blonde hair and blue eyes. But that can come from my side. I, got, I do got a white father. You got brown eyes. I got brown eyes. My father is white, though. Listen. Even if your father wasn't white, black people have blue eyes, too. Oh. We got to educate in this courtroom, Jerome. Yes, <laughs> we got to educate the babies. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Do you sign the birth certificate? No. You don't? No, I wasn't sure. That's the right thing to do when you aren't sure. I can't trust her word. And so, meanwhile, you've just had a baby, Miss Grimes. Yes. The father is saying now, I don't believe. Yes. Whatever happened to this ex? Um, he's still around. He's the father of my first child. Okay. So, is there any chance he believes he's James's father? Yes. And let me ask you this for clarification. Is that the truth? Could he actually be the father? He could possibly be the father, but I know he's not. We only slept together one time. I know Anthony's the father. He looks just like him. He got his nose, his eye shape, his forehead. And the text message was telling All him right. that it was his So brother. they did not say that. They said it could potentially be. I got some evidence right here. I'd like to that. see that. Jerome, you will you hand me the evidence, please? So, Mr. Davis, you're saying that after Ms. Grimes told you we are having a baby, you said I was excited at the thought that I was going to potentially have another baby, and the next thing you know, you see text messages. You submitted text messages to the court. It's from Ms. Grimes to her ex. It says, I need you because I cheated on Anthony with you, and it's possible James is yours. I, I got possible. pregnant with James around the same time we blanked. Oh. It was possible. I didn't say he was his, though. That's not... Them were my words. That James was yours did not come out of my mouth. James, it's possible. We slept together one time. That's around the time I got for pregnant. for me to have doubt, though. Well, I mean, that's plenty of reason I mean, for you to have doubt. Yeah. I mean, once you read text message like that, that's an admission. You basically have said this is what happened. The truth is, you just said that to me a minute yes. ago. So, you are now at a place in your life where you are admitting it. Yes, and I just want Anthony to know that he's the father of James. I, I want the doubt and everything to stop. I want all the questions about who's the father of James to go away. I just need him to know that he, he the father of him. You know what, Jerome? I think I can learn more if I hear from Mr. Warren myself. Please escort him in. You got it. <clears throat> on this side. <clears throat> you know, we're here talking about the paternity of James, baby James, and I want to know from you, 
Do you believe you are James's biological father? Well, yeah. Why is that? Because around the same time, um, she had, you know, it all add up. The timeline. Yeah, He don't look timeline. like you, though. But <laughs> he don't look like me, though, but I can believe, you know, there is a question, you know what I mean? I just want to know. I'm here like to find to. out also. He so, looked like um, you. So the point is, is that you don't know either, but no, you believe he is your child. I I you mean, have an older child together, am I correct? Yes, we do. And so you all have obviously kept an ongoing sexual relationship? Yeah, something like that. Not for real, but something like that. <laughs> You either have sex or you don't. I don't we, know. We, I we, yeah, we, we did, We do, but... but we don't. Like, yeah. we do, but we don't. Me and Jelani got a... We got a friendship. We just... If I'm single and he's single, we mingle. <laughs> <laughs> if you single and he's single, then y'all mingle. Yeah, I mean... That's pretty much how it happens. So... When you got pregnant, you told Mr. Davis... That it was his child. Yes. But then you were texting Mr. Warren saying I slept with you and cheated on Anthony. So it sounds like y'all were mingling but wasn't single. Because the message said I cheated on Anthony with you. Yes. So what is the truth? Um, the truth is I did cheat one time on um, Anthony with Jelani. Okay. So the truth there's is... There's a chance. It, there's a chance he could be Jelani's. But I don't see it. Okay. So the truth is, is he very much could be Mr. Warren's biological son as well as Mr. Davis's. And you really don't know. You're just going off of appearance and what you feel. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, Mr. Warren, you say you believe the child is yours. Yeah. On the fact that Jamie, you know says things that make me believe, so... What does she say? Uh, I feel like, you know, he, he yours, you know what I mean? I want him to be yours. She even told me that, you know, she would rather so for me to be the father. So she's told you she wants the child to be yours. Yeah, I didn't told, say that. She told me that a couple times. It's just facts, I'm just... I didn't say that I want the child to be yours. To be honest, Y'all I'm gonna be... Y'all take care of your first child. Why would I want the second one to be yours? I mean... To be honest. Come again. But, Miss Grimes, you just testified 15 minutes ago that if it wasn't gonna work out with Miss Davis, you didn't want to be alone, so you figured you'd tell Mr. Warren the baby was his as well or could be his because you could get back with Mr. Warren because you had your first child. You know, that's what happens in paternity situations. The woman's sexual behaviors, relationships, they're on trial. That's really what it is. Because at the end of the day, you can't make a baby without a mother. You can't make a baby without a man, neither. But my point is, you can't make the baby without the mother. Right. But the mother can and... always have had sex with more than one man, which is what you did. <laughs> Hence the phrase, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. Yep. That's why we're here. But I know he's Anthony's son. Like, and you say you know, but the yeah, truth I'm is, saying. you've also been saying things to Mr. Warren. And yeah, I, can tell, I, just... I yeah, yeah. can tell when he testifies that what he's saying is true. I have said stuff to him before in confidence. This is my, this is my best friend. I tell him everything. We've been knowing each other for six years, so of course I tell him stuff in confidence. I talk to him. This is my best friend. Like, I tell Jelani everything about my life. He knows every single thing that I've... Everything about me, he knows, pretty much. Because that's, like, my friend. So, of course, like, we slept together around the time that James was conceived, and I told him it was possible. I messed up. I mean, it's, I was young. I'm, I'm trying to get it right for my son now. That's what I'm talking about. Jelani knows who his daddy is and James don't, so I'm just trying to get it right for James. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna meet you in this place. I'm not gonna meet you with the silliness because this is not a game. So, Mr. Davis, how are you feeling in this moment? I just wanna make sure I ain't make no mistake. I wanna make sure it's my baby, and if not, then I'll be on my way. You know? 
So you have not developed the so same... So if he type... not your... If he your baby, you just gonna leave? You just not gonna take care of him no more? You just yeah. gonna be on your if way? If he my baby, I'm gonna take care of my baby. I'm gonna take care of my responsibility. I hope but so. if he not, then what am I supposed to do? Take care of another man, baby? Nope. All right. Do you hope James is your biological son? I hope my time hasn't been wasted, you know? So, in a way, yeah. And, Ms. Grimes, what are your hopes? I hope James is Anthony's. All right. Jerome, let's find out the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Grimes versus Davis, pertaining to whether Mr. Davis or Mr. Warren is the father of 10-month-old James Davis. It has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Davis. So I wasn't lying. You are the father, Mr. Davis. <laughs> and how does it feel to hear that and know that for sure? I mean, it feel pretty good, you know? Now I know, you know, I'm gonna be there for, you know what I'm saying, for him. Good. Would you like to try to figure out how to work it out with her in terms of having a relationship? I mean, we just gotta work on ourselves. We can figure that out later, you know? If maybe... Focus on the baby right now. I need, yeah, yeah, we can and focus, focus on, on the baby. Mm -hmm. She could do better, I could do better, then maybe we could be in a better place, you know? So now, we can't just talk the talk. Right. Right? True. We gotta walk the walk, okay? <laughs> <laughs>